Hi learners, welcome to the third part of Bellson Continuity and Differentiality. Today in this session, we shall solve some interesting problems related to continuous functions. So, let a function f be defined by f of x is equal to 5 if x less than or is equal to 2 and ax plus b if 2 less than x less than 10 and 21 if uh, x uh, greater than or is equal to 10. Suppose this function is given to be continuous. f is given to be continuous. f is given to be continuous. Then what about a and what about b? That is we have to find the values of uh, a and b here. Uh, so that the function f becomes a uh, continuous so you can see that what is happening here uh, since f is given to be continuous f is given to be continuous f is given to be continuous so uh, you can have it is continuous at every point in particular f is uh, continuous uh, at uh, x equal to 2 and at uh, x equal to 10. So, when x is, when f is continuous, when a function is continuous at x equal to 2, what do you mean by that? That is, left hand limit should be equal to, right hand limit should be equal to, value of the function at that point, isn't it? So, we can utilize that here, that is, limit as x tends to 2 minus, that is left hand limit of fx that is equal to right hand limit limit x tends to 2 plus f of x and that is equal to f of 2 here and now what about uh, uh, x tends to 2 minus means x tends to 2 minus means x is less than 2 when x is less than 2 what is the value of the function that you can see that when x is less than 2 what is the value of the function that you can see value of the function is a 5 so you can have limit x tends to 2 minus 5 that is equal to limit x tends to 2 plus when x tends to 2 plus 2 plus means it is coming here that is x plus b so you can have that is x plus b that is equal to f of 2 f of 2 means you can see when x equal to 2 that is 5 again so you can have 5 that is uh, you know limit of a constant that is that constant only that is equal and this is a polynomial so polynomial then we have to find a limit so we know polynomial is continuous therefore direct substitution will do that is value of the polynomial will be the answer so that is 2a plus b and again is equal to 5 we don't want so that is 5 is equal to 2a plus b so we got one equation connecting a and b similarly again we know the function is uh, f is uh, continuous uh, at x equal to 10 what do you mean by this that is when a function is continuous at x equal to 10 you know that is the fun left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to f of 10 value of the function at x equal to 10 that is limit x tends to 10 minus f of x what is f of x then you can see that is when x less than 10 less than 10 means it falls here so that is x plus b so you can have x plus b there and uh, right hand limit means x tends to 10 plus means greater than 10 when x is greater than 10 you can see that is 21 so you can have 21 and f of 10 that is when x equal to when x equal to 10 again the value is a 21 so we have another relation like this that is when uh, x tends to 10 minus x plus b x plus b is a polynomial and polynomial is continuous therefore instead of finding the limit value we can have the functional value that is 10 a plus b so that is the left hand limit and then what about right hand limit being a constant that is same again 21 we don't want it so that is like this so we have second equation 
so we have two equations the first equation was a 5 equal to a 2a plus b so we can write it 2a plus b so 2a plus b is equal to 5 that was our first equation this is our second equation then using these two equations uh, we can solve for a is equal to you just uh, subtract these equations you know then 8a is equal to 21 minus that is 16 21 minus 5 is 16 so which implies a is equal to 2 and substituting this value in any of the equation for example if you substitute here that is 2 into 2 that is 4 plus b is equal to 5 therefore b is equal to 1 so we have a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 then only the given function is uh, continuous let us consider the graph of the given function now there are two bricks on the graph therefore it is not continuous at present but by adjusting the a value like this or by adjusting the b value we can change the position of this uh, uh, portions of the graph like this now you see when b is becoming one the graph is changing but it is not continuous now we change a uh, by like this then finally what is happening you see when a is equal to two the all the three pieces got connected and there is no brick at all so the function becomes a continuous so when a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 the function becomes a continuous now let us solve another problem what is the value of k so that the function f defined by fx is equal to k cos x divided by pi minus 2x when x not equal to pi by 2 and is equal to 3 when x equal to pi by 2 is given to be continuous is given to be continuous so here the function is given to be continuous we have to find the value of k so again uh, we have the value of the function function is continuous means it is continuous at a uh, very point so in particular it is continuous at x equal to pi by 2 also function is given to be continuous so uh, it is continuous at a uh, every point so it is continuous at uh, x equal to pi by 2 it is f is continuous at x equal to pi by 2 what do you mean by that that is limit x tends to pi by 2 fx should be equal to f of pi by 2 and then what is f of pi by 2 that is very clear when x equal to pi by 2 functional value that is value of the function that is 3 then we have to find the limit of this one so when x that is limit of fx fx means k cos x divided by pi minus 2x x tends to pi by 2 then how to evaluate it for that we shall have a substitution so what is the substitution we can have so x is approximately equal to pi by 2 so we can put x equal to pi by 2 plus h so as x tends to pi by 2 then h becomes a zero and h becomes a zero therefore we can write limit h tends to zero k cos instead of x we shall write pi by 2 plus h divided by uh, pi minus 2 into x x means pi by 2 plus h like this then we have to simplify it so that is we have a limit h tends to 0 so you can see that when uh, cos pi by 2 plus h what is cos pi by 2 plus h uh, so that is minus a sin h that you can see minus sin h and k you can take it outside otherwise you keep there no problem so we can keep it outside then divided by here you just uh, simplify that is pi minus uh, pi minus 2h so you can have minus uh, 2h so this minus and this minus getting cancelled this two also you can take outside then what is happening so that is equal to k into limit h tends to 0 sin h by h 2 also outside so k by 2 outside 
then limit of sin h by h so you know that that is k by 2 because this limit is a uh, one only this limit is a uh, one only so we have limit value is equal to k by 2 and functional value was uh, 3 at x equal to pi by 2 uh, which implies k is equal to 6 so when k is equal to 6 uh, the given function will be continuous let us consider the graph of uh, f given by fx is equal to k cos x by pi minus 2x at present the blue colored curve is having a break at x equal to pi by 2 a point is missing actually at x equal to pi by 2 the fx value is 3 that is that uh, blue point that is above the blue colored curve so at the present the function is uh, discontinuous but by adjusting the k value now you see when i am changing k is equal to 3 3.2 3.4 etc what is happening the curve is going up and finally the break gets filled the gap gets filled that is now you see when k is equal to 6 there is no break on the blue colored curve so it becomes a continuous so when k is equal to 6 you can see that the function becomes a continuous now let us consider a function f defined by f of x is equal to sin x by x when x not equal to 0 and 1 when x equal to 0 uh, to show that f is uh, continuous to show that f is continuous so when x uh, let us see b a negative real number let us see b a negative real number then definitely f of c is equal to the value of the function at x equal to c is nothing but uh, that is sin c by c that we know and for limit also we can find in the same way that is limit x tends to c that is sin x by x that is equal to uh, we can have limit of x tends to c sin x divided by a limit x tends to c uh, then x like this then we can have the limit that is sin c divided by c uh, so which exists because c not equal to 0 uh, that is guaranteed because here c is a negative real number in the same way we can proceed with um, c um, when it is a positive real number so that is simple so only the thing here is whether it is a continuous at x equal to zero uh, there we have to be cautious uh, so that is when x equal to zero then what is the uh, value of function that is f zero that is given to be one in the question that is given to be one as per the definition of the function then what about the uh, limit of uh, fx uh, as x uh, tends to 0 uh, that is equal to limit x uh, tends to 0 sin x uh, by x uh, what is it we know it is 1 let us have a visualization and uh, come back let us consider the graph of uh, sin x uh, by x uh, when x uh, tends to 0 both from left hand side and right hand side what is happening to fx value it is tending to 1 that is when x tends to 0 both from left hand side and right hand side then in either case fx becomes a 1 so we can speak of limit of sin x by x as x tends to 0 equals 1 okay thus from the visualization also we could realize that uh, limit uh, sin x uh, by x uh, as x tends to 0 is a uh, 1 thus we have the value of the function equals uh, limit uh, as x tends to 0 fx uh, here therefore function is uh, continuous at uh, 0 also f is continuous at uh, 0 also at x equal to 0 also thus f is continuous at every real numbers that is function is uh, continuous